Hey everyone, once again, welcome back. In the previous video, we are implementing this uh, generate link functionality. So here we will generate the link, right? So before this, we implemented this simple model. And here, now we are going to generate this link, right? Okay, and uh, by the way, if you are new on this uh, channel, this is a um, whole series about how we can create the reward system where we have some users that can uh, register into the uh, register into the application and then they can purchase these products using the points right and by the way by default when users will be registered they will be assigned some default points and uh, after these default uh, points administrator can also assign these points to the user right and user can also refer the other uh, users by their own invitation link so here we are implementing this functionality right okay and so here let me open the reward system here and uh, yes yeah, so we are opening the model here and if i go here and click on this generate links it's doing nothing right so i want to generate the link right so here uh, first i'm going to open the blog so i'm going to follow to implement the reference functionality okay and uh, here by the way this one is uh, uh, i almost shoot the live series uh, which is about how we can uh, if i'm doing something wrong so i will not cut these of the points because it will teach you that what's the error and then how to resolve this error i'm doing this in the live environment that is a unique thing of uh, a unique thing of this course okay so now implement this generate to link button okay let's uh, click on generate link button so here let me load the other things okay uh, oh, we have in the pop-up here this one is a pop-up where we have a generate link button right so let's go here and simply assign it rd of generate to link right generate link and then copy this one go here in the script and here when we will click on this so generate link right generate to link so we want to send the call to the server right so basically we want to generate the link of this uh, login user right okay so let me copy the server call hx functionality to send the call to the server yes so here i want to generate uh, simply uh, get request right and then i need to create a new route here which is uh, uh, you can say that generate or you can say generate to uh, generate link maybe okay and then here we don't need this data parameter we'll use this auth okay and uh, here our link will be copied so we will uh, display a message here that uh, this one is copied and here i'm going to display the console.log data right and here just comment this line for now and here i'm going to also console this so same thing with the response right and also commenting this for now we'll get around turn this this on based on our error right okay so here we are sending this request on the generate link so let me create the link here simply refer user and this one will generate link right and site thought to generate you can say that referral link referral link okay and this would be also a referral link referral link right and then this would be also done here in the pop-up go in the script now pop-up it would be the site site dot generate dot link right and uh, this one 
is get route yes get and generate referral referral link okay copy this and simply go to this controller paste this method here like this and here i'm going to basically return the login user so i'm going to add this inside the again so you know that we can uh, simply get the login user using this uh, auth user right okay and here i'm going to read this user okay and uh, now if i go ahead and give it a refresh i want to test this functionality click on it and let me open the console to see that what's going on here and open the network tab generate and yes and we are returning the null why because we are not logged in right so here before this we will apply a check that if the user is logged in then we are able to click on this generate link right uh, auth and then check right this is going to check that uh, if the user is logged in or not right then i'm going to add the negation to return response and then response would be the oops response would be error is please login pass to refer to refer another user right okay and then this status would be 402 or yes 402 is fine and then after this we will implement this stuff right and now here in the script tag uh, here we will receive this response and we can turn this on to get the response or to error we will get response so it will pop up here right so now simply give it a refresh open the console okay click on it by now or uh, not by now go to the top refer user generate link please log in first to refer another user right it's now displaying proper message to user that first login right so now let me uh, log in myself log in and then this would be the contact at the right of serial cell okay let me check the user table here yes contact okay and now i want to visit this refer user click on this generate so now it will not ask to you are not logged in it will uh, simply uh, dd this user click on it and yes go to the network tab and yes it's so uh, returning the user logged in user right as we did this so uh, here in the controller right so now the time is to generate the refer link right so how to generate the refer link so simply i found uh, i found uh, a very well article on it that building a referral system in laravel right but we will implement this in our own way so thank you uh, we morning and you uh, here that simply we need to install a package which is this one right so copy this one go to your console now let me open it in a little bit here so here paste it and hit enter so basically it will pull the pull this package using this composer package manager and yes it's installing this out and now uh, you don't need to add this stuff because this one would be auto discovered right publish the vendor files you can publish these files but i'm not going to do this right uh, you can for this if you want to change the salt key you can uh, publish this out so let me do this we will later on we will use this uh, to use our custom salt key right if you don't need this custom salt key so you can simply skip this one you don't need to publish that and uh, then we need to use this uh, method to encode this with the user id so i will explain this in a minute okay it's almost completed and here simply paste this out and yes it's uh, 
edit this out here if I go to the config and then this config contain a file which is name is hash id yes this one right so we added the default using the this default length and then this salt key is commented right so you can use your own salt key so let me this here yes so we need to pass this to this salt right okay i pause this so we can pause any of the key but for now testing purposes i read this out okay and then uh, here uh, simply now your package is installed and you can use this simply by encoding these things so here uh, it's so uh, used to first encrypt uh, first encode the data right in the form of uh, encryption which uh, uh, simple simply we cannot understand that what it what it is right it's going to encrypt the user id right so which user id so it will encrypt uh, uh, it will encrypt the login user id and then we will send to the another user right which i want to refer uh, which i want to refer and join to this system right so then other user will click on uh, other user will decode this hash id and then he will get the reference id that which user refer to uh, to me on this system right and we will store this reference id in the user table right so for example the second user will be referred by the first one right like this so i will explain each and everything step by step so don't worry okay so here uh, let's go here and uh, uh, we can say that it would be the uh, hash to user id equal here we will use this so uh, uh, hash id it's a hash id oops hash id so let me copy it from there simply copy it hash id in code and here we need the you can directly call this auth user object and then id or the direct way is to simply call this using like this right but i'm not going to do this here because i did the user object here right so uh, you can get the it's simply id we don't need the full object right so i did this id and here i will add the uh, you can simply name it descriptive that it's a user id right so maybe in future we will call this that uh, to get the username from this user object and it's returning only id so it will throw an exception so make sure to add their descriptive name and here i'm going to dd it again hash id so make sure that it's generating the hash id or not uh, let's clear this out click on it generate 5b yes it's generating it and uh, why it's generating in only two character so simply visit this hash id and it's defined the length zero so if i made this five right so now simply click on generate generating the five right if i go here and visit this out and made this 10 it will generate the length of 10 right Date and yes it's generating the 10 but i think uh, standard is uh, 6 or 8 right uh, let me add this 8 click on it generates it will generate the 8 length uh, hash id which is uh, uh, which encrypted the user id right okay great and you can also pass this call uh, pass this salt id it's totally up to you uh, i'm going to pass this carrier development lab like this or simply yeah this ps here too okay generate link yes it's in it still generating the unique id and every time it will generate the unique id yes generating click on it no it will not to uh, generate the unique because our id is same right uh, here uh, if you will pass the different id then it will generate the different to uh, hash right so let's take eye on it here we have three y ending and it's now different right but if i go here and pass this again this user id should return the three y again right so that's good thing okay so here we are uh, generating the hash user id right and uh, 
now we need this uh, we need this one this uh, uh, this uh, string should be copied and we can display it here right so later on our user will copy and send it through the whatsapp or email right or you can also generate the longer key it's totally up to us how you to feel this so if i want to make this so uh, 25 it's totally up to you okay it's generating the 25 okay and uh, now i want to uh, return this id here right so how to do this so simply go here and uh, here i want to uh, return response and in the response i want to add uh, what should i need to add it would be the uh, hash uh, we can say that to refer referred by right and then here i'm going to use this hash user id and simply like this okay so now uh, let me close the other box here okay simply go here in the this one and here i'm going to copy this one okay so i want to uh, add this uh, in the dom right so simply open the model here here we have this one so i want to add a uh, div here to add a id of gen hash hash to link right okay and simply go here and add this like uh, hash to link so I want to add this HTML here on this data dot referred by right and then this will be appended on this hash link right so now let's try it that is it working okay refer user generate link and yes now it's appended here right so I want to make this on the right side so simply go here and do style float right. Let me write something and I want to test this without clicking on it and everything. No, it's still on the left side. Oh, I did this wrong. Refresh. Upper and yes, it's appeared here. But I want to uh, generate, uh, generate it on the new line. Simply add a br refresh. Yes, on the new line, right? So this button should be also a little bit more smaller, right? I will go here and you can say that the width will be the 30 px. Uh, I don't want to use this so uh, btn primary I will use so uh, I can use my oh not this one I can use my own uh, button styling right so I'm not going to create this one CSS so button okay and then I'm going to copy the button functionality Okay, and this one will be the padding, origin, and these things. Default button, link button. Okay, so simply copy this button functionality. I want to add this. So we are not in the pop up. I need to add this in the main theme. So here simply add a class of button i'm not going to assign it to the all button HTML attribute right okay simply call this button class here in the pop-up so this would be the mm -hmm, here is our button it's this one
button right uh, refresh it yes a button is there so now we need to customize it according to our own one it's a font width is this one margin is this one padding is uh, this so we can set its width or height right mm -hmm. so where we can define this define the 30 px height would be also uh, 20 px refresh is a small and then this we can be added here Oh, we have a small button. Let me increase the width of this button. It's uh, a little bit more by 80, and this will be the 50, and this font would be um, 12 maybe. Okay, and generate a link. It is a little bit longer make this 90 and this will be the 40 refresh and click on it and here we have this one but this one is uh, not fitting in this one so let me load the thing and now this one is looks good but uh, this generate link text is smaller so make this 13 and this will be 1110 refresh and yes now this looks nice right so here I want to assign this same color so simply copy this color code here add it here right and remove one hash okay and do click on it and yes now it looks fine right so here if I click on this generate and yes now this one is uh, with this link right and uh, here let's move this one it's overrided the dome and uh, now the link is generated right and uh, we can we need to add a, a here a functionality of uh, copy to clipboard right there's an option to uh, where user will click on it and then instantly copy this one instead of uh, copying this like this right so how to implement this so simply search it here clipboard uh, can say that uh, copy to clipboard jQuery okay and this one is a code simply open it here And to make a small answer, okay, and here copied, and yes, this one is copied. Uh, my function button. Okay, fine. And, uh, here we need a button. Then this button is uh, calling this function, executing the select command, and like this. Okay, it's correct. And here I want to add a button. So before this, we need to make this uh, input field, right? So then we are able to get it to uh, get the text from it properly right, by using this tag so first make this so uh, the HTML input right hash link to this uh, uh, input right and this input would be the ID of this hash link with this one and the class would be the form control right and then whenever we are appending this here so we need to use this well instead of HTML right because we are 
appending this inside the input okay and uh, here use the hashed right and uh, everything working fine so let me check that our design is also working fine okay click on it refer and yes it looks so longer right so let me add some more space from here and then i need to also remove its border okay it looks fine and now i need to uh, remove its border right so simply add here style border none okay refresh and click on it yes it's fine click on it generate and yes it's now fine and after this i want to add uh, another button right it will be the copy later on we will replace with the icon right and so here i want to align this on the right side load right refresh okay so here we will replace it with the this one but before this we need to hide this and when we we'll click on this then we want to make this visible right so here generated link then you can simply copy it from here so let me add an icon here right so copy to clipboard font awesome icon right it's a FAFA clipboard right so simply add it here right plus and like this and I want to uh, I need to add the font awesome link at the top right here I'm going to use a uh, CDN right so simply set this font awesome CDN here and then copy any of the link right I'm using this uh, 5.13 to use this same one uh, some of the CDN that didn't contain the, all of the icons right so make sure to choose a proper one click on it refer and yes we have this icon right and uh, this one looks as a button right so i don't want to add this inside the button so simply uh, cut this out from this button remove this Okay, refresh here button clipboard yes I need to add a uh, size right this would be the font size font size would be 30 px maybe if you so uh, icon yes it's correct and we need to also add the style of pointer cursor Cursor pointer refresh, then we will it will show the hand icon. Yes, now it looks fine, right? So here when we uh, our link will be generated, so we will click on it, this one, and we will copy this one, right? So let me check the video size. Oh my god, it's going very longer, right? I don't want to uh, bore my students, right? So here we implemented this generate link functionality right and this copy to clipboard functionality is we will implement this in the next video right and uh, if you like this video subscribe this channel and uh, support me on this uh, my mission so i will shoot more course like this so share it with your friends and i will, I will get more popular so i will shoot more course so thank you so much and bye bye